Last time on Slaughterhouse TV. I know uh, who you are. So that, you do? You're Lee Everett. It's okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. Okay, Clem. Now we've sorted your finger out. Ah, a TV. And there's a it's control a in this drawer. That's what I figured. It's not hooked up by the looks of it. Okay, so there doesn't look to be anything else apart from the bed, which I think it's pretty obvious what happened there. What's bugging me is, is where are the bodies? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Okay, so I remember Lee saying earlier. They're, if they're not in here, they're probably outside. So we need to try and find Wanna something. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. To distract Lee? the walkers. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? Bad as the cool. That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Um. Yet again, sticking true. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he bad? He was. I feel as though I need to be as honest as possible with Clem, seeing as though she's in my care. Nevertheless. I've got a choice to pass this uh, TV control around. Let's talk Heard to Doug. Seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Want to step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, actually, you are. Closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Let's have a look around. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool, and we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. All right. Jesus. There's quite a lot of those things around now. Kinda of hungry. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? Hell the might fuck be indeed. A days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Okay, so. Can't see where these keys could be out here unless one of these walkers are his family, which would explain the missing bodies. Hmm. Ah, so this is a TV store. I've got a TV control. Hopefully, it's universal. Nope. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that. Doug's onto something. I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Haha, <laughs> bingo. Well fucking done, Doug. That dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That 
got a few of them to take notice. A few, but not all of those. I don't know. Hmm. So. There's probably no way to get these TVs louder and actually tune them in. What's this? A brick? I can't reach that brick. The fuck you want to build, Lee? It's just there. Hardware store. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. Ah, that guy by the dumpster. The photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Oh, that that must mean that uh, that's his brother. Yeah, Lee's brother. Shit. Hmm. God damn. Let's try taking this brick now. I can't reach that brick. Fuck. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Hmm. Let's talk to Doug. I know this is probably the most um, inappropriate time to ask you this, but how'd you end up in here? How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? Um, I grew up here. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Okay, so that still doesn't help the fact that I can't reach the <clears throat> brick. Fuck. Maybe, now that we know there's a brick area, maybe. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Hmm. Open sesame. That won't. Well, <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to go back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. There might be something useful inside now. I know there's a, at least a brick outside, if nothing else. Hmm. Let's talk to Carly. Hey, Carly. You okay? That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Really? You're really fine. All of your colleagues are probably dead. You don't think I know that? Of course I'm not fucking fine. Shit. God, leave. Just leave me alone. Fuck, Lee. Leave it alone. Hmm. Probably a bad choice of words. Hmm. Glenn was the one that put it. Um, Glenn, no, um, Glenn, Glenn, Clementine, Clementine. Um, 
Glenn put the padlock on, so maybe we can get in touch with him. How's your finger? How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Damn right. So, it looks as though we might need to break the lock off. And I know the... Lee said that his dad's cane was... Hmm. The only thing that I've got there is the door to the pharmacy. Uh, let's check the bedding, see if there's any clues. in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. I am literally stuck on what to do next. Um, I would have thought that Lee would have been able to reach the the brick because he doesn't really look like he's out of arm's length. How are we doing? If you don't mind, I think my family and I are gonna rest for a bit. Let me know if that asshole over there takes a turn for the worse. You got it. Hmm. So we still got the greeting cards, the photos. Carl is probably in a mood with me like still. Nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Hmm. I wonder if I can talk to her about. Uh, Glenn now? Everything okay? Mm-hmm. No. Let's have a look on the cork board. Nothing. <sighs> I don't remember them very well. So, I've tried to talk to Kenny, Clem, and Glenn. No, not Glenn, sorry, Doug. Carly as well. Let's check in on Lily. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. Um, what do you think about all of this? What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, we need to stick together and get through this. Well, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Um, he's got a temper? He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Uh, never mind, I'm sure he's a good guy. Never mind. I'm sure he's a good guy. He is. He just has his issues. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh. You guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. 
I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. Thanks for saying so. Um, I'm gonna check back in with you in just a sec. So I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. <clears throat> okay. We've been in the office, we've been outside, we've searched all around here. How do I get these fucking keys? 